This is lesson 2-8a, how to use x-intercepts to graph a polynomial function. Um, we're going to have five main steps. Find the x-intercepts, determine if each one is a cut or a bull, and I'll explain what that means. Determine the end behavior, plot a few points in between, and draw a smooth curve with arrows. Here we go, example one. Graph y equals negative x plus 2 times x minus 1, the quantity squared. All right, step one is to find the x-intercepts. We're in intercept form already, so it'll be very easy. The x-intercepts occur at negative 2 and at positive 1. So right away what I'll do is I'll plot those on my uh, coordinate axis. So negative 2 and positive 1. The next thing is to determine if each intercept represents a cut through or a ball. And that's determined by the exponent associated with it, if it's even or odd. I'll just put an exponent here. Since this exponent is odd, it's kind of like y equals x and it's going to cut through. So this one right here is going to be a cut through, something like that. This exponent over here is even. So it's going to be a ball, kind of like a parabola. All right, so this one would, now it could either ball up or it could ball down. The end behavior will help me determine which one is correct. All right, so I found the intercepts, cut ball. Let's do the end behavior. All right, if I were to multiply this out, I would find out it's just like y equals negative x cubed. I've got an x squared factor there and an x factor there and the negative. It's like y equals negative x cubed, which is like y equals negative x to the 1. It's negative and it's odd. That's what I need to know. That, I have a, an idea of what that looks like. That's a line like that. So my end behavior is going to be going up on the left side and down on the right side. And what I do is I just physically put that in my graph. So I'm going to be going upwards on the left side and downwards on the right side. I'm a visual person that just helps me with the graph. Okay, um, so now I know that this is the correct bowling pattern because if it's going to be going down here, it can't be bowling up forever, so it's going to be bowling down. So it's going to kind of do something like that. And to find a little bit more precision, I'll just plot a few points in between uh, at negative 1 and at 0. So I'll just make a quick table here. All right, so I'm just plugging negative 1 into the original function. So the opposite of negative 1 plus 2 times negative 1 minus 1 squared. I'll really do it quickly here. 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 1 squared. All right, uh, negative 1 add 2 is 1. The opposite, negative 1. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. four so that's going to be a negative 4. Over here, 0 add 2 is 2. The opposite of that is negative 2. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Squared is 1. That's going to be a negative 2. So I've got two additional points. Negative 1 by negative 4. And 0 by negative 2. I don't need to worry about plotting points out of here. The end behavior will help me out there. Now I just put it all together as best I can. So going up forever, cutting through, going through those points. Bowling here. So If you want more precision, you can uh, graph more points, but this is good enough for our purposes. Again, make your graph be smooth, put arrows on it. Uh, it's like a roller coaster. So once again, 
how to use x-intercepts to graph a polynomial function.